All right, this video is going to show you how to be able to use LaserWorks 6 to make yourself a keychain using raster burns, vector uh, etching, and the regular vector burns uh, to cut through three millimeter MDF material. Uh, so first I'm gonna start with the project. As you can see, uh, this is Inkscape. Uh, I have received this from one of my students. And if I highlight the whole thing, I can check up here at the top that it's going to be four centimeters by three centimeters. Make sure your settings are in millimeters when you check this. Um, down here, I have three different colors. The black is going to be what is burned. The red is going to be what is uh, uh, raster etched or filled in. And the blue is going to be what is uh, vector etched onto the surface. Um, so I'm going to open uh, import this into this software here, which is my LaserWorks 6 software. So I click on the import. I'm gonna go to my file on my desktop and import it here. You can see the settings up here, four millimeters by th uh, four centimeters by three centimeters. Now, here are three colors. Up here, I have my three different settings, scanning, cutting, and cutting. So scanning is the red material that's going to be scanned or filled in. It's going to have a low power and a high speed. The, the black is the cutting. That's going to have a high power, high power and low speed. And the etching is going to have a, uh, I can even speed this, etch, this up by double clicking on it, uh, a relatively high speed, uh, 300 and a low power. I'll just gently score the surface of it. All right, uh, so uh, knowing that this is going to be four millimeter, four centimeters wide and three centimeters long, I'm gonna go over to the laser cutter and check that I have material in the laser cutter to burn this. Remember, this green point indicates the top right corner of my project. So over I go to my BRM laser. And I've already placed a piece of material in here uh, and move, raise the bed so it's five millimeter, the laser is five millimeters away from the surface of the material. And if I need to, I take a, a, a ruler and measure that that is gonna be at least three centimeters and then I have four centimeters there. Uh, and I know I do. Uh, if I needed to adjust the height, I could use the this. If I need to adjust the laser's position on the X, Y axis, I could use these buttons here. If I needed to check to see if the laser is in the right place, I could use the pulse. Um, in fact, here I'll move that laser just a little bit over, and that looks ready to burn. So I'm gonna come back over here, and I press start, and let's watch this project go. So the laser right now is just uh, scoring the surface of the project. And what I'm noticing is that that is not a sufficient burn in my opinion. And so I'm gonna stop the project. I'm gonna want a stronger burn setting for my scan. In fact, maybe I'll slow it down. Maybe 200 and power 15. Let's see, Let's try that again. So now, ah, oh, there you go. So you can see that it's etching a little more significantly into the surface of the material. The white material uh, around where the raster burn is uh, happening can be wiped away with a cloth to uh, leave the material looking better. So this project will not take very long to finish. So we'll watch the whole thing. And now this is the burn around the outside. There we go. Those beeps indicate that we're finished. And before I move this, I always want to make sure that uh, it has burnt through properly. So usually I'll hold down this material and just check that this burn has completely cut this away from the project because as soon as I move this, I can't replace it there and burn it again. Otherwise, uh, the etching won't work in the same place. So there you go. You can see as you can kind of wipe away some of the, that whiteness 
and uh, our project is complete.